Jungle Man, yeah. five day tournament. Excuse me, excuse me. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Well, how do I address you? Macho Man Dan. This is Macho Man Dan in his final form. Oh, yeah. All right, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Ram Karinkema, Donnie Peters with me. We stole Jeff Platt hey, from the broadcast. Oh yeah, good to see you all. He's with us as well. Uh, this a real pro. Yeah, mm, he is actually That's true. Yeah, can that can I hold this? For a very, very little bit. This makes me feel important. <laughs> anyway, today we have some updates from the 50K for you, and I think you cashed something finally? I did, finally. Finally off the Schneid. <laughs> so we have lots of updates in our vlog this week, so let's go check it out. While all the regular animals and sickos are playing the 10k short deck or perhaps some scrappy deep stack events, the real animals, the ones that you see in the zoo, are playing right behind me. The Jungle Mans, the Negranus, the Ivies are playing in the 50k today, and um, I figured, why not talk to some of them? Karai Aldemir, main event champ in the house. Karai, when you've won the main event, is the 50K the only event left that really matters to win at some point? I mean, it would be a pretty cool one to win for sure. I mean, uh, mixed games, not really something I played in the past, but one of the best tournaments, yeah. So this guy can bluff pretty well, having won the main event. He's also a liar, because he told me that he wasn't gonna play a massive schedule. Oh, we'll see how it goes. And now he's in here mixing it up. We tried to draft him for 25K Fantasy, did not work out, and now here he is making a run. I mean, how I'm on my own team, now I have to go for it. <laughs> see, maybe, maybe he's more motivated because of that. So, uh, let me ask you this. How different is it, though, to mix it up in this type of buy-in at this level? Because I know you've played mixed games in the past, but this is a little bit different, right? It's very different, yeah. I only played 1500s until this year. This year I played like three or four of the 10Ks, but 50K, of course, something something different. And I'm pretty sure I'm not winning in this field, but it's like the most fun tournament ever, probably. Uh, so I really wanted to play it once, and I thought this is a good year to, to try. This vlog doesn't come out until after the tournament, so we can speak openly here. Oh, um, so I'm the winner? You, you're, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can do the winner interview right now. How does it feel? <laughs> anyway, um, as far as these games in this rotation, with all the people that you faced, what, what are the tougher games for you as, as a No Limit Specialist to play? Probably the stat games, because they're the most, most different from what I'm used to. Um, I mean, I played all the games a little bit, but really only a little bit, never studied or anything, so I think I'm an underdog in most of the games against the mixed game players, obviously, but yeah, I mean, just trying my best, I can get lucky in some, some parts, and I'm, yeah, I'm not terrible in, in any of the games. So, yeah. But how do you apply that No Limit Hold'em mind and mindset to games that are limit? Like, how do you get an advantage out of that, or how do you make sure you, you know, don't, don't lose a lot of bets because it's so new to you, in a way? I guess I play a little bit tighter in the games I'm bad at. I, mean, I think that makes that makes sense, and uh, maybe can play a little looser in the games I'm good at, like Old Man Oldham. Uh, yeah, so far it worked out. Let's let's see how it continues. All right, main hold event on a champion. Second, hold oh, on, come in here. Come I, in here. I screamed at him yesterday for taking too long on a hint, and it's because he just is learning some of these it's games. True. It's unbelievable. Right. Actually, it's a pleasure to play with, but that's that was crazy. I, was, <laughs> I, I seriously I was like, dude, are you really gonna and then he didn't believe me that I don't play these what, games. What what game was it in? Stud High uh, Stud High Low I think. It's Stud High Low, Stud yeah. High. But he, he made he made a check on Fifth Street with three babies in his door and everybody else had bricked out their babies and nobody on the planet is going to check for him, no matter what he has underneath. As it turns out, he had big cards underneath. I, I yeah. hand, by the it way. was interesting. Now I want to play mixed games with him every day. Well, well, well before, before you, before you <laughs> walk ahead, off, go ahead, go ahead. When, when those No Limit boys mm. jump into the mixed games, and you had played these games for so many years, right. what are some of the things that stand out the most about how they play the Limit games? Um, well, yeah, one of the things that stands out is they, they, obviously they take a lot more time because some of the, some bets in limits are just automatic. You know, uh, it's like uh, if you're drawing three and the guy behind you is drawing one or two, right. you check. He's it's an automatic bet. There's nothing to think about. The no limit players don't know that, and now you're going to look at their cards, study, and figure this out. And all, that's what happens a lot of times. Yeah. Curveball back at you. What are these? What are these old men? <laughs> bad, bad ad when it comes to no limit hold them in your street. I am old. I qualified for the seniors this year. Yeah, he, he, he folded against me. Big oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right, never fooled against Korai. Good luck in the tournament. Thanks All for talking right. by. Thanks. Thanks. I did a bottle of sake at dinner, which Ben Lamb helped out with. He kept coming over to the table and taking it. And then I did a whole bottle on my own.
MJ Gonzalez in the house, going deep in the 50K, playing the big schedule. Had a bit of a hiccup, but now we're back rolling. Yeah, sometimes does, you have to punt. How does it feel, though, in this event to go deep? Does it feel any different than the regular old grind? Yeah, I mean, to me, this is the most prestigious event. And it's, it's just not even close. So to have a chance to battle these guys and, you know, make a day three and hopefully day four, it means a lot. I know you're deep in the solver streets all the time, but how do these solvers work when it's uh, stud high low or Omaha Interbetter? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> you just, a lot of it's intuition, a lot of it's just strategy talk with your friends and uh, a, lot of, a lot of feel. Oh, oh. So the, the, the figuring out part of these games, as opposed to the rigid nature nowadays of No Limit Hold'em, how does that compare on sort of a mental plane? Because you switch between these games going from you know that rigid form to all of a sudden we get maybe a little, a little bit more creative? Yeah, I mean definitely. And a lot more information gets, gets put off in these limit games. You know, a lot, a lot of people, they don't, they're not balancing timing, the way they put the chips in the pot, etc. They're just, they're giving off a ton. And so, with that and a little bit of strategy knowledge, you know, hopefully you can use that against your exploiter. I'm gonna say something big here. This guy has not been in that tournament grind for a long time. You know, guys like Sean Deep and Scott Siever who have, you know, four or five bracelets have been doing it for a long time. This guy hasn't done that. So, I'm gonna say this right now. You're gonna have 10 bracelets in 10 years. Is that a reasonable thing to say? Yeah, if you're fucking crazy. <laughs> I mean, hopefully that'd be great. You know, let's let's get one first, right? And then we'll take it from there. However, what I'm trying to get to here is that you're driving your motivation, and the, the time you've put in, it goes so that you really care about this. Or is yeah. this purely a financial thing where you just want to win the money? Well, it started off financial for sure. Um, I only cared about the money, and then when you get enthralled in this world, and you start to go up in ranks of stakes, and then you reach like the highest stakes. For whatever reason, everything changes, and, and the money no longer matters as much, you know, obviously, mm -hmm. and new goals start to arise. So now, I mean, before I would kind of scoff at bracelets and would never a priority for me, but now it's one of the main things that I want. So, is the main goal to have one, or are you already looking beyond that? Let's start with one, and then you know, I think a lot of it has to do with how the cash games are running. Right, right. Because if they're running big all year, I might be a little less incentivized. But if they're not, then it's like priority one. All right. Well, he's gonna chase number one here in the 50k. MJ Gonzalez. Best of luck. Thanks, bro. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know this means I. I do. <laughs> Aces. I wasn't folding. Yeah. Back door flush. Yeah. No, I ace eight suited, but yeah, same idea. <laughs> Jungle Man, yeah. five day tournament. Excuse me. Excuse me. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. Well, how do I address you? Macho Man Dan. Macho Man Dan. I stand corrected. The question I had in mind, though, was in relation to the aforementioned Jungle Man moniker that you used to go by, and I wanted to classify this tournament, which is going to last for five days through five different animals. What animal do you need to be on day one, day two, and so on and so forth to win it again? So, listen, I got a few things to say. Now, firstly, firstly, Jungle Man still lives, okay? Let's get that straight. Today, I'm Macho Man Dan, but that doesn't mean tomorrow or another day, comparatively speaking, that I'm Jungle Man. I'm still Jungle Man in my heart, okay? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Now, for the rest of the days, I can't spoil that. How can I spoil who I'm gonna be for the rest of the days? Sometimes, I don't even know. It just comes out, okay? So then let's let's reframe this question. What kind of animals are you facing at the table right now? Let's let's do a little bit of analysis. They're animals? You, you, think, you think these guys are animals? I don't even know what they are. They're like limp biscuits. Wow. Like I don't even know like I feel like I'm eating them for breakfast. I feel like I feel like over here it's all cream going up to the top and over here it's like I don't even know if I'm playing I don't even know who's there. It feels like like does anyone else have any life in them? It's like I'm playing against like vegetables that figure out how to pick up poker chips or something. This guy is just like the, the reigning champion, defending champion, and cl clearly he's gonna win it again. I do wanna know though, how did you prepare for this year knowing 
that the title defense, defense was gonna put more pressure on you. More pressure, what? I wanted more pressure. It was too easy last time. Yeah. It was way too easy. I planned it all from the beginning. I knew I was gonna win. It was my destiny. The man formerly known as Jungle Man, Macho Man, for the rest of this tournament. He said he's gonna do it again. Let's keep him and hold him to his word, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for stopping by. All right, I clearly gave Daniel Jungle Man Cage, AKA Macho Man, the run good he needed because guess what? He's at the final table right now. This is Macho Man Dan in his final form. And listen, this chain you may think is a decoration, but if this chain wasn't on me, I would just be out of control. But we can't have that right in front of the video scope. We gotta save that for later. They better beg. This chain doesn't come off. Oh yeah. It's a custom belt too, I love it. That's right. It's a custom belt. It's a custom belt. Listen, comparatively speaking, they're all trash. I should have brought my broom with me to sweep, sweep them under the rug. Broom and sweep the trash under the rug. Whack them with the broom. But they got, yeah, no chance. It's all cream from here, baby. All, I'm talking about all the way to the top. Who's your biggest competitor at the table today? If, what do you mean by big? I literally do not understand, but I will say this guy, Benny Glazer, I can barely remember his name for some reason. Like I can barely remember his name. You know why? Because comparatively speaking, he's nothing. He's like a grain of sand in the Sahara Desert. And I am like the entire ocean, okay? And listen, he's got no chance. He got in his wildest dreams, does he got any chance against Macho Man Dan? It's gonna be Macho Madness from here on now. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure we got any more room for any more shit up here. <laughs> Time for Donnie and I to do our free preview on YouTube, so follow me, let's have a look. The $50,000 Poker Player Championship final table is here as Dan Jungleman Cates defends this title. No Hadouken today, but he is dressed, of course, as Macho Man. So no Jungle Man today. It is all about the Macho Man Dan show here. My name is Rem Karinkama, joined by Donnie Peters to provide you a one-hour free preview of the proceedings here today as one player will add their name to the list of illustrious champions in what is probably the most prestigious tournament of the World Series of Poker. And this man, of course, is looking to add his name to that list for the second time. Donnie, put into words to me how special it would be if Jungle Man wins this tournament back-to-back -back years. Absolutely incredible. I mean, this is the game that all the elite players in poker believe is the most prestigious title to win. Obviously, the main event is its own animal, its own beast that everyone wants to win, but of every other single tournament in the world, not just at the World Series of Poker, it is the 50K PPC and then everything else. Oh, and one more thing. One more thing. I know things are gonna get a little rough out there. In case anyone feels like crying home to mommy or crying to their sister or the, or the girlfriend that, that changes their diapers, I got a little consolation prize, a little consolation, a little crying towel for them. So, in case anyone's feelings gets hurt, I'm there for you guys, I'm there. But other than that, it's gonna be total control. Oh yeah. Send you out to the ring, Holly. I mean, 
What do I have to say after that, Donnie Peters? That was phenomenal. Nothing. Nothing. Is it there? No. And Daniel Cates has repeated as back-to-back -back PPC champion. And Don's early light, Jungle Man Dan Cates makes history. So we're here at Bally's to play in the Colossus. The line here for Late Reg is just absurd just to get a seat. So might be sitting in line for a while here. We've got the super high roller ball hat. Thing is super GTO, possibly more GTO than GTO itself. We're here to climb the leaderboard for the Poker Go vlog. You know, right now Remco's ahead because he hasn't played anything. He chickened out of the Colossus. It's like Tim Duckworth is chickened out of the Colossus too. So it's just me and Donnie here. I don't wish ill on those guys. I want them to do well. I'd love it if we were all at the final table together. I just want to do it just a little bit better. All right, we got our ticket. We're going to be waiting. And an absurd line at Paris. Could be a couple of levels that we miss. I'm sure I would have ran up a huge stack. That was my strategy for the first few levels. Now we're going to have to switch gears because can't do that strategy anymore. But my new strategy will be to run up a huge stack in the later levels. All right, after uh, about an hour wait or so, got our seat during the break, so we're waiting to start playing. 15 minutes till go time. So we're standing for a national anthem. We don't know exactly which country it is, but uh, it's respectful, right? Yeah, so we're about to start playing, but first we're gonna respect this unknown nation. There we go. Woo! Okay, we're, we're gonna play poker at some point, but we have to listen to the French national anthem, I believe. I think it says La Marseillaise. I mean, of course, I recognize it. You know, you know, oh, she doesn't. Yeah. What's your name, miss? Kristen. Good luck. Kristen, I'm sitting to Kristen's left, so I'm going to take her chips. She's nice, but she's got to go. So Donnie, Remco, and Tim saw me carrying two $50 bills in my uh, wallet yesterday, and they were just so horrified. So I'm going to prove to them that uh, that superstition is dumb. Using a uh, $50 bill as my car protector. They're unlocking each other. We are through level nine and things are going really well. Have uh, got 175,000 in chips. That's over 80 big blinds in the next level. Using the $50 bill as a chip protector is really working. To that of the hat. This could be the first big run for a team. We'll finally knock Remco off the top of the standings. All right, so we made the dinner break. I took a pretty big hit right before coming back out of the dinner. I'll have about 35 big blinds. I feel like the dream is still alive, but it's slipping a little bit. Just don't know how Remco does it. The guy's still gonna be atop the leaderboard. He hasn't even played a single hand. Does he even like poker? It's kind of weird if you think about it. Such a poker fanboy, and he's scared to sit down at the table. All right. We're bagged up, but not for the night. We're moving to Bally's. Yeah, I've had nothing but bad bad luck at this table here. This guy, this guy in particular, every time I put a chip in the pot, he puts three. No updates from Donnie. He's not a team player. He's trying to make a vlog about playing, and Donnie's a no-show. I have no idea where he is. I don't know if he's gotten any content. It's the same old story. We're supposed to be sharing this experience with you guys, the viewer. But Donnie just cares about himself. He just wants to run deep. Doesn't care about the viewer. So comment below if you're disappointed in Donnie. Just found out Donnie actually has for 300,000 chips. I'm at about 100,000. So he's actually crushing it, but I just can't let Donnie run deeper than me. Just won't let that happen. So it's go time. All right, guys, we're going hand for hand now. We're on the bubble. We're extremely short stacked. Got like, uh, I don't know. Seven big blinds or something like that. We're in the money. People aren't even that excited. They're so anti climactic Celebratory beer. My man over there had a fireball shot. I'm a little jealous. All right, we're all bagged up. Ready to go, 10 a.m. tomorrow. Stay tuned. Look who we have here, the prodigal son. Not making any content, he's just running deep. He's no, just no, I, I took some videos. I took some videos right <laughs> when we got into the money and then we were bagging at the end. All right, how many chips do you have? 597 in the bag. Woo! Let's go. 
On this jack jack hand, there was a raise and an all in in front of me. I reshipped with two jacks. The original uh, shover had ace jack of clubs. Came queen ten of clubs on the flop. King of clubs right on the turn to give this fine gentleman a royal flush. You can see him taking pictures there. Three way all in here. I have ace king up against two tens and ace jack. I'm able to flop an ace and hold them there to score the double KO. <laughs> Put 597 in the bag. Pretty good day. Ran pretty well. Thought I played pretty well as well. I'm gonna bag these chips. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Day two tomorrow. Let's go. Here we are, day two in the Colossus. Haven't seen Donnie yet. Five minutes till uh, cards in the air. So hoping that he makes it on time. I needed to make it on time because I can't afford to get blinded off at all. I'm gonna have to shove real soon here. Wish me luck. Want a huge pot, doing really well. Got a mountain of chips here. Look at that. All right, we just busted. It's on the button with uh, King Jack known in the pot. I went all in, my 12 bigs, and the big blind called with Ace Jack. No King came. Dream is dead. Came in 883rd place. It's not bad. Uh, laddered up from the min cash. So you have to be happy about this uh, result. Still, it stinks. $1,000. Uh, uh, that's all up to Donnie. Good luck, Donnie. This is a tough call since you're on TV, too. Really? Oh, I think it's on you. All right, I'm on TV, I'm all in. <laughs> That's a good quote. I'm on Fucking TV, I'm all in. Down to my last eight and a half big blinds, all in under the gun with two sixes, up against Ace King. He flops an ace, and that's all she wrote in the Colossus 235th place. All right, everyone, I'm in an empty tournament area, and I got this pink slip here, it's a little pink card. That means no good for the Colossus. Busto, 235th place. Messed up a hand, got short. Thought a guy was probably bluffing. He wasn't bluffing, he had it. Took a chunk of my chips and got it all in with sixes. Lost the race to Ace King, but hey, 235th place from 13,500 people. I'll take it, it was a good run. Back to battle the next time. All right, everyone, we're gonna take a look at the leaderboard. We got cameraman John up top. I think he's up $120, so a little bit of a win, but he's still leading. Remco in second place, hasn't done a damn thing, hasn't even gotten into a tournament. We're about to DQ him from the entire competition, but still a few more events to go, so we'll try and push him into those events. I'm in third place, unfortunately. I mean, I, I just, you know, I, I'm losing money, but I, I'm firing the biggest, I'm firing the most, so we're gonna make it happen soon. And then Tim Duckworth, I mean, in order to win money, you have to play hands. He hasn't done that yet, so I mean, I, I just don't, I, I don't understand. I mean, what the hell is this? Who are you? Don't I work here, man? You guys hired me, social media manager. I think I'm on top now, man. Yeah, but you have to, like, when you, you have to start, like, when we started. I, I came in halfway, that means okay, I'm but, at a disadvantage. Okay, first of all, we didn't know you were gonna play. So, had you not cashed, would you have never told us? And then you wouldn't have dropped to the bottom of the leaderboard? No, you can't just like book a cash and then be like, oh hey, put me at the top of the leaderboard. That's not how this works. I don't think he should be in. Just just cut him. Cut this, him out of our lives. Do we have to fire him? Like, what? I mean... This is horse shit. This, I better get on that leaderboard. I better be on there. No. Guys are rolling. Oh shit. Really? Your guy, he flies now. <laughs> I know. That's what awesome. I said it. Cameraman John in the house, as always, and because of Cameraman John's deep run in the Colossus, aka Min Cash, he didn't go deep in the main. No, I went deeper. He kept, he kept talking about it. I thought he was doing well. Yeah, but I went. I did better. Way better. Okay. Way better than Cameraman. John. Also, I'm still O for O because of this guy. I got didn't get to play the tag team event. But hey, again, at least I'm not a loser. Yeah, but you're you're. You have to defend my, your little one-for-one one drop, two hundred and something place finish, right? I have to defend my min cash. 
349th place or whatever it was. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching this week's vlog. We made it outside for the first time in a long time. We've been cooped up inside for far too long. Hope you liked the video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below on what you want to see during the main event. Guess what? Daily vlogs during the main event. Only the real OGs. John is shaking his head. We're gonna see if that works out. Only the real OGs who made it to the end of the video will know that this is happening. We're not gonna announce it anywhere else. Daily vlogs. Cameraman John. <laughs> Give me that. How do you Daily feel Daily vlogs. This? Look, let's say we'll do as many vlogs as we can. How about that? Cop out. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Jimmy. I've talked to you guys a hundred times Maybe. online, but I can't. Talk Wait, about. you don't know why you were blocked? Oh, my, moderator. <laughs> so Donnie Peters blocked someone on YouTube. That, no, me? Was it me? I have no idea. See? I, it, it, it was it probably not me. What did you say? I, I don't know. <laughs> he pleads the fifth. We gotta find the chat log. If I did great. something wrong, I apologize. <laughs> Wow, controversy. See, this is how you get unblocked. If you find us in person, <laughs> we'll unblock you. No, we don't really good. care what you it. said, okay? It. I'll buy you guys dinner. I just want to talk. <laughs> Look at that. That's a great deal. Anyway, thanks, man. Thank you. We'll figure Appreciate it out. It. Yeah, we'll get you unblocked.